Everyone who loves rock and roll is saddened by the death of Levon Helm. Levon came to international prominence as part of the band. He sang lead on Up on Cripple Creek, Rag Mama Rag, The Wait, Don't Do It, and The Night They Drove Old Dixie Down. He was a fair guitarist, a fine mandolin player, and one of the most influential drummers in the history of rock and roll. I remember running into Bruce Springsteen at a Levon show once, and Bruce said, we get so used to hearing versions of the thing, Levon is the thing. The The band's legacy was immortalized in Martin Scorsese's 1976 film, The Last Waltz, after which they went their separate ways. Levon made solo albums, sometimes reunited with other band members, and took up a side career as a character actor. He appeared in movies like The Right Stuff and Coal Miner's Daughter. I believe married life's making you fat, girl. <laughs> Levon, the key to the town. Yeah. He was the most honored citizen of Woodstock, New York, where he moved in the 60s. They even celebrated Levon Helm Day. Levon was to Woodstock what Sheriff Andy was to Mayberry. In 1998, Levon learned that he had throat cancer. The news was grim. Even if he recovered, he would probably never talk again. He would certainly never sing again. About 10 years ago, Levon beat the odds. Word went around. Levon was getting better. Levon was talking again. And then, Levon was singing again. In the winter of 2004, he had a lot of medical bills, so he and his friends hatched an idea. They would hold a concert in Levon's barn in Woodstock and invite local fans to chip in money for the show and, by the way, bring some pies and cakes so everybody could eat. This was the birth of Levon's Midnight Ramble. Ramble became legendary. If you were lucky enough to score a ticket, you could drive up to Woodstock on a Saturday night, head over to Levon's place, and sit around in a small circle while one of the greatest rock and rollers of all time put on a show with his band and any famous friends who dropped by. Last time I went, the music started at 7.30 and was still going long after midnight. If anybody complained to me, about the sad state of rock music, I'd say, if you're looking for real rock and roll, it's alive and well in Levon Helm's barn. The last 10 miraculous years gave Levon a sort of extended victory lap. Fans got to tell him how much they loved him, musicians lined up to honor him, and Levon made three new albums, each of which won the Grammy Award. It was as if heaven decided to give Levon an extra decade, just so we could all hear his songs one more time, just to give Levon and the people who loved him a proper chance to say goodbye. In the whole history of rock and roll, no one ever had a greater encore than Levon Helm. You put the